running, bieg, jumping, prysky, walking, gulet pyszką, sitting, sidzie, standing, stoja, dancing, tancy, bending, izgib. Hi guys, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. So, when I make a video these days, I just make it as a memorandum for myself. So, if I want to know how I did something, I can just go back and watch it. In no way do I claim to be an expert, and I wish people wouldn't do that when they made YouTube videos. That's not a reflection of this gentleman here. Uh, he made a video on how to use an SD card reader and your Arduino to uh, create a music player. The reason I say music player is because he's saying MP3, but actually it's a WAV file that he's playing on his Arduino. I'm not going to thoroughly go through the code. I actually plan on uh, studying that a little bit later, so I may make a follow-up video to this one, so check the links down below. Uh, just studying exactly what the code is doing. Uh, did this gentleman create the code himself? I don't know. Did he get it from somewhere else? I'm not sure. Like a good majority of audio sound tutorials using your Arduino, uh, they use the TMRPCM uh, library. The basic thing I was just trying to show is that uh, his code actually works and the schematic is pretty good too. Here it is here. It uses the SPI serial communication which requires four pins. That's pretty much because that's how these SD cards are designed. They're not using I2C, they're using SPI. He recommended using this online convert.com website for converting WAV files, actually converting MP3 files to WAV files. I guess if you go to Audio Converter and then click on Convert to WAV, he changed the resolution to 8-bit, 1600, 16,000 hertz and a mono output. I didn't do this originally, I just used some WAV files on my computer and when I loaded that up onto the SD card I was getting audio but it sounded all funny probably because the bitrate wasn't correct. I suppose you could experiment if you've got audacity you could change the bitrate. I think typically it was at this rate and then you could save a file at 16,000 Hertz. Something I experienced while troubleshooting my circuit is getting the code to upload to the Arduino Nano correctly and I guess some of these unofficial boards have a tendency not to get recognized by the Arduino IDE so there was a separate video I found which recommended installing the new latest version of the Arduino IDE software and then when you go into um, the board okay for example when you go into tools and you pick the board and the processor. This wasn't necessarily showing up the old bootloader in uh, older versions of the Arduino IDE. So if you're for some reason by chance using the Arduino Nano and it's not uploading properly you may want to update to the latest Arduino IDE version. I mean I mention this because this gentleman is also using 
and Arduino Nano, so you might be trying to replicate exactly what he's done. So, stay tuned. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, I'll have made an additional video to tag on, which goes into covering what the code is actually doing here. Once again, I'm not an expert, but thanks for watching. Hi guys, good morning. I've got my Arduino Nano hooked up to an SD card and on the output I've got a 1K resistor going into my funny looking LM386N op amp. So if I hit the reset button on the Arduino I'll just show that this was a success. It's not really successful, is it? Okay, I'll try again. Walking, sitting, 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 sitting,